everybody. It's Sandy and her mom. Hi. Shout out to Susan. Shout out to Susan as always. Hey Susan, what's up? How's Florida? Well, we are going to take a look at my auction haul that I got. My mom wasn't with me, so she hasn't seen this stuff yet. No, I haven't. I got this bag. Okay. I got this bag. Oh. I got this bag. Yes. And I got this bag. Oh, my, my. Well, thank you for joining us. We will be right back. We're going to really take a nice deep dive and see what I got. See you in a second. As always, don't forget to tell us what your favorites are. This is definitely one of my favorites. So this came in a sterling silver lot. It wasn't that cheap. Uh, it might have been not as bad, but somebody was just bidding against me like a crazy person. And I wasn't going to give up and neither were they. So I did pay a bunch for this lot. Now this is by a very cool Danish designer. His name is Eric Mag Magnusson. He was uh, born in the 1890s, I believe, and he was one of the chief designers for Gorham, Gorham Silver Company, and he went back home at some point. I believe in the Depression, Gorham wasn't really doing well, as you might imagine, and so he began to design jewelry. I think this is probably circa 1940s, maybe, uh, maybe early 1950s. He was influenced by the Art Deco style, and also he became very into Cubism. This is not Cubist. Obviously, cubism would have like the eye where the mouth is and the mouth upside down and where the, <laughs> you know, it'd be all mixed up. But this is an incredible piece. I'll put a couple of comps on the screen. Uh, not that this means that's what they sell for, but I will just put a couple of things on the screen so you can see it is quite a collectible piece. And, you know, obviously. So when I saw this, I knew I really, really wanted this lot. This has everything I want as somebody who collects jewelry and also will probably eventually sell this. It's very quirky, it's very cool, it's sterling silver, it's designer signed, it's Danish. I love the whole Danish sensibility, I love the design of it. I love everything about it. It's a good one, right? I think it's really fun. Do you like it? You don't like it, right, Mom? That's uh, not your not thing. Not too much. <laughs> yeah. See, you like the more, like the prettier and the more traditional well, items. Yeah. I get it. I get it. But this is, to me, really special. You probably like this sand dollar, right, Mom? I do like yeah, that. Yeah, I really like this. <laughs> yes, I do. Another piece of sterling, you know, we hope. I think it's marked inside there. I didn't see a designer on it. So uh, if you've never been to an auction before, it is buyer beware. So if something here isn't silver, that is on me to not know that. You know, the auction house, of course, they're going to try to make sure that things are what they say they are. But it is buyer beware. Anyway, I think this is very cool. So I was thinking, like, in my head, like, I could probably get 20 or 25 bucks out of that. I was thinking, uh, likewise, on this beautiful puffy heart. This is nice and big, too. I like that. I love this. I love puffy hearts. Mm -hmm. And this one is not all, um, you know, dented and stuff like that. It is in nice shape. I think that says ND. I think I've sold that before. This is nice and big, nice and light. I'm going to move these out of the way because they're going to get in the way of our focus. This is a very exciting piece, at, at least for me. So one thing I knew right away is that this is Georgian, uh, which it is. I am correct. And also, these are little garnets in here. They're flat cut garnets. There are two missing, I believe. But this is kind of a special item. This is called a witch's heart. And they are usually, oops, they're usually shaped like this with the, the little bottom part of the heart going to uh, the right side. And it's something that's been around since I think the 1500s or the 1600s or something. It's a very popular thing. I think in the beginning it was meant to like ward off evil. And then as time went on, I think it just meant that you were bewitched by somebody who you were in love with. And let me try to see if I can just get some more some more light on this. Can you even see that those are red? Hopefully you can. Now, I would be shocked if this wasn't uh, 9 karat gold. It may even be 15 karat gold. We're going to definitely test this at the end. This is a quite special item. I don't know if I can get those garnets 
replaced or not, you know, maybe this is something uh, a jeweler I know might have like a little, I don't know, a little scrap pieces of garnet or something. I'm not sure. I would like to replace them though. We're missing this one and this one. This is a lovely item. I, I wonder what story it has to tell, right, mom? Don't you wonder who had it, who gave it to oh, who? Oh gosh, yes. I love it. So probably uh, early 1800s on this. So excited about this one, really. I'm going to put some comps on the screen just so you can see the prices people are asking, which again, doesn't mean that's what I could get, especially with the two missing ones, but it puts us in the ballpark and it shows this is quite a special thing. Love it. I think this is beautiful, Sandy. Isn't this nice? Yes. I love it this. It really is. I love the white enameling on her wings. How pretty. So you can tell right away this is not old. And it has this little, oh, it's a little knotted, but it's on a little sterling chain. Yes. That's so sweet. Very, that is so sweet. Very so sweet. I was thinking, like, I could probably get 15 or 20 out of that. But this one, see, this one's very interesting to me because it's a Hobe. I have had Hobe before. I know about Hobe. I've, I've sold it before, certainly, also. I have it upside down. But I didn't realize that they made sterling silver pieces. And this is quite beautiful. I love this shell. Is that natural? Do you think they dyed that? Are shells that, that green, do you think, Mom? Sandy, I don't know. Maybe in Florida. Maybe in Florida. <laughs> we'll have to ask Cousin yes, Susan. Yes. Cousin Susan, let us know. That's right. But isn't this a cute thing? I couldn't find one like it. I love this pendant. I absolutely love this pendant. I love the top part, too, like the bow. I just think it's extraordinary. I don't see any damage on it, that's for sure. A lot of times you would think this shell would, you know, um, break off or something. Wow. What a, what a pretty piece this is. So this one and the face and the witch's heart are, are the ones that are, you're really going to get the most money for here. But there's still some pretty stuff in this lock, like this, for example. This is a beautiful mother of pearl and marxite pendant. And I guess that's, yeah, ATT, Thailand. So this isn't a super high quality thing or, you know, like super valuable or super old. But I think I, I think I could probably get 15 or 20 out of that. So one of my viewers spotted this. It's Epiphany. I have no idea who that is. It's a name brand I've never heard of before. But these items are not Epiphany because these are old. So these are pretty interesting cufflinks. I mean, look at the character in that face. Now this is, yeah, that's ivory. They're great. They're great. Now ivory I can't sell. Uh, it is illegal to sell and it's, it's, I mean, I think you can if you can prove its age and maybe you even can on eBay or maybe eBay bans it outright. Not sure. So I will be sticking these back in the auction. Well, they're probably they're, they're look, very cool right yeah. look at his face mm -hmm. look at his fingers and certainly you can tell they're hand carved uh you can tell because of how different each thing is well not like how different but if you look carefully you can see they're like the hat is a little bit different on each and so on <laughs> i think he's great i wonder who he's supposed to be i'm not sure but cool item this is a cool oldie. Don't you love these, Mom? I do. I, I love I the. Do. I like the way it changes color. Yeah, and also the frame, how ornate it oh, is. Oh, very, yes. I think it's beautiful. I do too, Sam. So this has a little bit of age on it. I think it's very nice. Something like this, I was thinking I could probably get $20 out of this too. Maybe, you know? So that's the kind of thing I think of when I'm looking at a lot. Like, what, what am I going to be able to sell for money? And some of these little items, too, you know, the $15, $20 items, those do add up. And it defrays the, you know, the cost of the whole lot. That's very pretty, actually. That's probably a real little amethyst in there. A cute pendant. And then, oh, isn't that sweet? This is a very sweet little item. Abalone shell, a little ring. Oops. Butterfingers, <laughs> as always. Isn't that nice? I love this, actually. It has a lot of nice smoothness to it from somebody wearing it through the years. I, I'm just clumsy today. I'm sorry, but I'm 
I'm sure that says something in there. Um, let me look. Hold on. I'm not going to be able to show you, but it does say 925 in there. That's pretty. I really like that, actually. And here's just a random, I guess. Oh, I see. Hmm. I thought that was an earring, but I guess here's the, the back to it. It's like a little hat badge or something. I don't know what this is of. Let me just see, see if we can figure it out. Huh. Is it a J possibly? I'm not sure what that is. Just a little, just a little something. And then we have this gold stone. <laughs> now that's certainly not silver. Come on now. All right, so that's the, that's the first bag. So our best piece is this and the witch's heart. Um, Mom, did you just put that in your pocket? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I sure don't want it. Then. No, I didn't do it. <laughs> man, don't be jacking my stuff. Okay. Anyway, we have the witch's heart too. So the witch's heart in this, these are the, the really kind of the money makers of the bunch. And then these, yeah, I'll get a little something. Pretty stuff. I'm very happy with this lot. I love it, especially that witch's heart, and especially this guy right here. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to have a look at lot two. Now, the reason that I wanted lot two is because it was $20. <laughs> I wasn't going to buy it, but nobody was bidding. I was like, all right, I'll take it for 20 So I would be very surprised if these are Bakelite. They're a little bit shiny. They don't feel like the right weight. And I also feel like, I don't know, like they wouldn't have just been in this lot if they were but I thought we'd just check it real quick, you know, like we do. So here's our Simichrome polish. We'll put a little bit on this Q-tip right here. And we will apply some pressure and see if it stays pink. I would expect it to, but I mean, I don't know. I, I hope it's Bakelite. That'd be a good thing. It's nicely, you know, carved if so. So let's see if this stays pink or if this turns yellow. Pink, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not surprised. These are still very nice earrings, for sure. I really like them, and they definitely have that 1940s look to them. So the same thing here. This is, I don't even. This doesn't feel like any plastic I've ever even felt. I don't know about this one, and this is that fake cinnabar stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to try this just for a laugh. <laughs> right? <Go ahead. laughs> I'll try it for a laugh, but I, I doubt it very highly. Well, you have everything right here. So. Yeah, right. It just takes a second. You're right. It seems like Bakelite doesn't really sell like for what it used to. It has to be a very special, special piece, but I really like it. I don't know. I like the feel of it. I like the colors of it. Hmm. Really? Well, is it? is it? Yeah, look at that. Oh, for heaven's sake. So well, there. I am surprised. I'm going to um I'm going to wipe this down. Maybe that's just dirt. Let me just let me just try that one more time. I washed this off on the inside cuz it might just be grime and stuff. I don't know. Tobacco or whatever. So let's try it again. Hmm. That's a thing. You know, you still get surprised. After doing it for all these years, I was like, this no way is this Bakelite yet. Yet it seems to be. Huh. Well, you have to believe it on the second try. Very interesting. I, I do. I do. Okay. I do. I believe. I believe. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's some of our plastic stuff. And this one is very cool. I like this a lot. Now, we're going to be putting the necklaces at the end on our neck. You know, like we do? Yes. Because you can't tell when it's just sort oh, sure. of like this. Sure. sure. Well, we should check this too, right? I'm going to use this, the Q-tip from before. Might as well. So. Might as well. We're right here. It just takes a second to do, as you can see. Maybe it'll be a surprise. Maybe a surprise. Let's see. Nope, pink. Okay. okay. And I'll try to 
you know, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll take this off when we turn the camera off. I don't want to just leave that on there. Here's a very pretty old necklace. We're going to put this on our neck at the end. So one thing I notice is that this finding is marked sterling. Hopefully you can see that. So I don't know if this is real jet or not. Jet is a form of coal. I can put some information on the screen in case uh, some people don't know what jet is. So let's test it. There is some unglazed uh, porcelain right here, or just like a, a bisque kind of thing that's not... Unglazed. Or unglazed, yeah. Unglazed is the key here. So let me just scratch this on. And if it is a real jet, it will leave a black mark. And it did. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. So this is a very pretty jet jet necklace. It's Not very bad. pretty. Thing. It, it is really very pretty. Glitzy. I'm surprised. Yeah. Now this, um, yeah, this came in this. So I've had these before. These don't. These aren't sellers for me, at all. Uh, I I probably have a dozen of these or something. And this is some little uh, Catholic thing or some sort of a Christian thing. I, I can't remember now what that stands for. I used to know. Anyway, I don't think this sells for anything, but it came in this cool box. I love old boxes. I love this box. What's Columbia, I wonder? Some sort of name brand for something. So don't care about this, but I do like the box quite a bit. So this isn't bad for 20, right, Mom? No. Really not bad. This is extra cool. I think this might be from the 80s. This is an, a, a really fantastic necklace. So we're going to put this on our neck at the end so we could really get a look at its grooviness. Now here's another bit of um, ivory that I'm not going to be able to sell. Let me just move these things out of the way so it doesn't mess with the focus. This is in a very nice presentation box and it's new too. And it's also very, very pretty. And it says right here, well, Sultana, Hawaii. And there it says, hand carved genuine elephant tusk ivory. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, I feel like, you know, that's why sometimes at auctions, especially I see ivory because it's, you know, people mm -hmm. are all on the same, <laughs> the same problem, you know. Oh, and I feel bad too. Oh, sorry. Sorry, elephant. Yes. Um, all right, so I will probably just throw this back in an auction. If not that auction, maybe maybe another one. It it is pretty though. I really like the the flowers. I suppose that's like supposed to be looking like a lay. It is very nice. It's nice that it's new in its box and everything. I would think this is probably from the 50s or 60s. I don't know, just 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 a guess. And okay, that's the end of that lot. So let's move on. Here is lot number two. We're going to have a look at these. That's the one I like. You, Mom? Yes, I was holding it so I could show you. Yeah. This is my favorite. favorite. I know. Well, you love yellow. Yeah, well, it's hard to find. It is hard to find. This so much looks like candy. It looks like hard candy. <laughs> this is going to look, uh, you know, a lot better so when pretty. it's on our, so when it's on pretty. the neck. I love this. So I love, love old glass like this. And this is the reason that I wanted to buy this lot. So that may be sterling. It may not. But, you know, you never know if it's original to it. Uh, anyhow, it, it looks like it might be. But I just I just love this glass. I really do. So we're going to put this one on our neck at the end. So nice. So this one. Yeah. So this one, it goes like it goes like this. So I didn't know. I guess it's a. I guess it's How a, lovely. a brooch. It. That's I know. This is all hand done, yes, clearly. Um, I, I'm thinking there's supposed to be a pin on it, but I'm like, it, I don't know. Is this something that somebody wore on their shoulder? You know what I mean? Like, a, is it called an epaulette? No, I don't know. What no, that, is. that would not be. It would have no? no? has no insignia or anything. No, but I, I don't know. It's don't know. it's cool. I, I don't know what it is, but I really, I really like it. I think it would make an awesome brooch. You know, a yes, lot of movement, yes. and this may be jet. So we'll 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 test this for jet in a minute. All right, but I got some some nice cameos I think in this lot. 
It's a pretty shell cameo. She definitely needs to be cleaned. I don't think that's uh, coloration that's in the shell. I think that's actually a little bit of grime. And I think this one is 800 silver with a gold wash. A little bit of damage right there. And here is, I think this is called Rebecca by the Well. This is not in perfect shape either. Need a little bit of repair work right there. It is awfully pretty though. This is nice and old too. This is probably from like the 1860s, maybe the 1870s. And here's a pair of earrings. These are cool. And they're both looking at each other and, uh, you know, they're both facing different directions. Yeah, they'd look at each other if you want. You want. <laughs> <laughs> they're friends. They've been friends can, for yeah. a long time. Sure. And did we already, yeah, I guess we already looked at this one. I think we didn't look at this one yet. I love this frame. And I guess that's a comb or something in her hair. It's very square. She's very pretty. And this, ah, oh, this was likely somebody's wedding ring. And this says uh, 14 karat, 1 tenth gold shell. It's a little bit of gold on there. Let's see where it says gold shell. So that means one tenth of the weight of this ring is guaranteed to be 14 karat. It actually has some pretty nice weight too. It's in very nice condition. Oh, I wish I knew who wore this. I wish I knew who wore all of these. Yeah, I know. Kind of cool to think about, right? Yeah, what their story so would be. This is a very cool hat pin. And at first I thought this was a peacock eyeglass, but it isn't. So this is just enameling. So this is the stuff we were saying you would uh, take sort of like powdered glass kind of stuff, put it in there and then heat it up with a glow torch or what have you. And then that would melt down like that. I really like this hat pin a lot though. It's really pretty. It's nice and long, very pointy. I think this is charming. I love this little tiny, tiny pin with the Greek key design. That's so nice. Now this is uh, probably, you know, nothing here is gonna be real. I mean, I think that witch's heart might be, but although mom, do you know, remember that time I got the single earring and it had the diamonds and I just had it made into a pendant? Oh yes, I do. That was diamond and gold. And that was in one of these lots from the same auction. So it was lovely. That was a lovely piece. I know. So it could, it could be possible, but I don't, I don't really see anything here that looks like gold, but anyway, I love this. I don't know why I love this so much. It's kind of plain, but I love it. And this is gold stone. So gold stone doesn't have any gold and it's not stone. It is glass. And they put gold colored flex in it. And I think it's done. It's complicated. I think, I think they do it with like gases or something while it's molten. It's a whole thing. I don't know how they do it, but I, I love it. I actually love it. I know it's little and stuff. Oh, how did this get it? All right, this got mixed up. <laughs> I thought that, uh, that we saw this in the other bag. Okay. Yes. So this one, oh, I love this. I have very similar ones to this. This is probably a WRE or the other one, Vandell maybe. So dainty. It is so dainty. Yeah, it's a Vandell. So this one is, this one says 1 20th, 12 karat gold filled. So 1 20th, uh, 1 20th of the weight of this metal is guaranteed to be 12 karat gold. I love these stones. I love the fly. I just, I love the different color, colors of yes, gold too. Yes. It's a nice condition, right? Yes. So this is one of these tumbled stones kind of thing. Um, well, those are actually pretty stones though. Yes. Yeah, they're so glittery. Yes, they are. Huh. Well, I don't know anything about stones or rocks, but I know people do. That's actually pretty. Yeah. And, oh, that's a really nice uh, catch. Let me just see what it says. This is gold filled. It's the nice. 1 20th, 12 karat gold filled. That's really nice, actually. Mm -hmm. This is nice enough. Maybe we'll even put it on our neck. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, you should. Say. It is quite nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I love these little boxes. This one is particularly nice, I think. Do you know the, um, oh, oh, it's Limoges. That's interesting. 
Is well, it I, pretty? I love it. Yeah, I do too. I love it. And we were just reading something the other day that said, uh, Happy Birthday is the biggest income making song in the history <laughs> in the history of world oh, of the world sakes. and if you have a tv show or a movie and you want the characters to sing happy birthday do you know how much you have to pay the writers no thirty five thousand dollars <laughs> which is why a lot of shows do for he's a jolly good fellow instead i thought silent night was the one no and i think silent night's in the public domain too oh, so good. happy birthday i think it was written by two sisters who were school teachers or something right. like that and then uh, they didn't. The, the music was public domain, so they only wrote the lyrics. Mm -hmm. But they got <laughs> they got pretty rich. And then I think Michael Jackson bought the publishing on it. I don't know who owns it now, but it's a nice little money maker. Okay, let me just see what what these say. These are very very nice. Aren't those pretty, very pretty cufflinks. Let's see what it says. It looks like it said S W. It does. It says S and W, and uh, you might laugh, but I either just sold some S and Ws or I still have them, and I do know who that is, but can I think of it? <laughs> Why no? Of course I not. <laughs> but no, I no, can't. I'll put no. it on the screen. I'll put it on the screen. Now, this one, this is such a lovely, lovely little baby. Look at the baby. I know. And I love the frame on this with the enameling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She shows the detail of the baby nicely, too. Just yes. Very clear. Yes. Really clear. Yeah. Oh, I love that. At first, I wasn't sure if it was like a, a post-mortem. Is that the word for it? I wasn't sure if that's yes. what it was at first. But it clearly isn't. Look, he's laughing or she's laughing. Look, in the best dress. Yeah. Sometimes, and this may be the case here, too. Sometimes this blanket behind them is like the, the mother, like hiding in the blanket, but holding uh -huh. the baby up, you yeah. know? Yeah. I actually have a great tin type like that, where it's clearly the woman, mm -hmm. the mother, you know, because she probably can't sit up on her own. I mean, I don't sure. know. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Now, here's a pretty little thing. So this is transfer wear, and then it looks like there's some painting in addition to that. I always call these decals, which is like the same thing. My phone's ringing. Let me just see who that is. All right, so phone call answer. It was actually my mother's phone, and we are being summoned, both of us, so I don't know what's going on, but they're going to wait. They're going to wait. Darn it. Well, this is a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful piece of glazed porcelain or china, and this is some sort of a military thing for sure. I just sold a lot of my military stuff in, in a couple of different auctions. Uh, does that say sterling? Let me look. It does. Well, that's nice. Hmm. That's definitely nice. Yeah. And here are two very pretty clip-on earrings. Or a pair of clip-on earrings, I guess I should say. I don't know if those are... Oh, Winnard. I love Winnard. Winnard sells very well. I, I don't know if these earrings would or not. I wonder what that is. Is that like some sort of marble or something? I don't think it's jade, right? And Knights of Columbus stuff, I have quite a bit of it. I've sold this many, many times. This is a particularly cool one, I think. I like it. I like this a lot. And this may be gold filled too. It's cool. It's got a lot of personality with that knight, you know. I get it, knights, knights of Columbus, get it? <laughs> oh, here's a cute little thing. Look at that little thing. That's a moth, I guess. Wow, that's very pretty. So there's our Morpho butterfly wing. You see how reflective that is. And there's a couple of different hmm. moths or butterflies in there. I, I think that's Morpho. Does it look like that's attached to a different? Hmm, I'm not sure. But that is just so metallic. And mm -hmm. this is very a very interesting locket, too. And this is likely gold-filled, I would think. Um, it, Sandy? Yeah, sure. You can open it up, I think. Let me see if it opens. It looks like it does. I can't get it open because you need a little screwdriver, but that does, in fact, open, so you could put something else in there if you wanted to. It's nice. That, that sure looks like real gold. I'm sure that's just filled, gold filled. That's pretty, though. It's lovely. It's lovely, and I can't imagine anybody wanting to change the inside. It's just lovely. Yeah, it is really pretty. It's colorful. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so we have one more bag. Then we will uh, test that heart 
and then we'll uh, take a look at some of the stuff on our neck. All right, so let me put these away. I'll be right back. So let's test this and see if this may also be a genuine jet. So we'll take a look here. Try to rub, try to rub this on the unglazed portion. Let's see if it turns black. This is not. This is not turning black. Okay. It's awful pretty. It is awfully pretty. So this one is just a black glass, I guess. I I don't know what it is. If anybody knows what this is, I, I would I would be interested to find out. We're not going to put this on our neck, but we'll we'll hold it up to our neck so you guys can see it like sort of dangling down and and see what you think. Don't know. Mysterious. Mom, you know what I wanted to show you? What? <laughs> we did a Where video. Did you find that? <laughs> I kept it. Oh Where'd my I find gosh. It? I thought you would throw them away uh, a long time ago. So if anybody ever saw, we, we made Applehead dolls together uh, and we did a video on it. And, yes, um, we did. Yeah. The, putting the lipstick on was a little bit controversial. Yes. But anyway, this is an apple head. So mm -hmm. you, you peel it and then you carve it and then you wait. How long does it take? A month or something? Yes. It took a while. And then it all shrivels. And then we, we cut up a fork and we put the plastic tines in there. <laughs> and yeah, I, yeah, my mother, my, I think you put the beaded eyes in and then this is, is this cotton balls? Yep. Anyway. <laughs> it, it depends on how hot it is. If you're in the summertime, it'll dry, dry up much faster. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Sure. That makes sense. And then we put the cotton on it, and mm -hmm. then um, you could like I you used to do this. Like you made this one when I was a kid. Remember you? Yeah. You made one that was on a bicycle that was really. Adorable. Oh, the guy he was waving. Yeah. Yeah, with the body and the wire <laughs> yeah, body yeah, and the clothing. Yeah, make a body for him. But we just easy. put it on a knitting needle. So anyway, she sits on in a vase. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if it's so cleverly done. I'm but surprised at you for keeping you. it. <laughs> It's a little bit, a little bit creepy. Oh, what do you say. think? Oh, yeah. Nah, she's pretty. She's, mm -hmm. she's cute. So this is the last lot. And what I wanted here was this necklace. So I'm I'm going to dump this out, Mom, and I'll take the necklace out. And then you can, sure. you can see what, what you think. So this is the reason that I wanted this lot. Now, other people have this exact item up. And they are calling it carved carnelian. But I don't think it is. I don't at all. I believe this is glass. And I don't think it's carved. I don't think it's hand carved because of how identical each each one is. Now this is molded, not carved. That's what I think. I was wondering if this was jade. Jade comes in this color, right, Mom? I think it does. I think I've had it. I can't remember. Oh yes, now. it does, Cindy. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But I, I love the bird motif. This is likely silver of some kind. This may be 800, uh, but this is really what I was after. I don't care what it is. It's, it's beautiful. It's old. I, I think it's lovely. I love it. So we'll put this one on our neck too, and, and you guys will see. But this is, this is really what I wanted out of this lot very, very badly. Some other things, you know, not... N not as much as as we'll see. Some well, sort of more ordinary things. I think there's some lovely pieces here. They honey. are. Well, you know, this is my problem. I don't think I've ever met a piece of jewelry I didn't like. <laughs> you know, I like them all. Uh, I like them all. Old, new, small, yeah, big. Yeah. This one's pretty. Yeah, I don't think it's silver or anything, but that's lovely. That's actually really nice. We'll put this on our on okay. our neck also. It's pretty. This is so pretty. Yes. Oh, we do have a, has a problem, I think, right there. Is that a crack? Oh, no. Um, Let me look. Hold on. I don't know. It kind of just looks like dirt, but this is newer. This is not vintage or anything. Oh, well, that goes to show what I know. <laughs> this is a Judy Lee. Okay, I did not. I did not know that. I still don't think it's particularly old. I mean, it's not from the 40s or 50s or anything. Um, I don't know if that will come off. Hmm. I'll try to take that off. I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe it's a thing. I love this. These are lilies, right, Mom? Yeah, and aren't they nice? This is really very, very nice. So this is enameling. This is called guilloche enameling. And I think this one is likely sterling. Yeah. This is quite nice. It's little. It's little, but I think it's so pretty. It's very Eastery, right? This one I love. This one's very, very pretty. I'll try to get my 
fingers out of the way. Sorry. Let me see if I can put it put it the right way also. Look at those birds. So this is clearly Celtic. I knew that when I saw it. I think the condition is excellent. And this is a name brand that sells for a little something, Celtic Sea Gems. I might be able to get $15 or, or $20 for this. Maybe $10, $12, something in that zone, which, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's very lovely. I love the colors. They're very vibrant, right, Mom? Yes. Yes, it's very pretty. And this I have had many, many times. I've had many iterations of this. I've had the earrings. I've had the, the pin, um, the necklace. So this is a crown trafari. This is the dogwood. This is a more common trafari, you know. I like uh, it. I like, I like it. it too. I like it a lot too. Here's a really glittery and sparkly stretch bracelet. It's kind of like got that watch band thing. It's not on, on uh, But it's stretchy. not big and gaudy. It's just nice. It is. That, and it, you know. It looks real. Oh, you know, it's believable. Because, of that, because yep. it's not huge. Yeah, I agree with you. I really like it. New. I do new, too. though. Not vintage. All right. So let's just go through these a little more quickly. So let's nice. Go with this. I thought maybe these certainly looked real, these shell mm -hmm. earrings, mm -hmm. but, but they're not. Um, these may be. I want to just check that out. This is a scarf clip. This has some problems. Yeah, that's really pretty. Really I know. We're pretty. definitely going to put this on our neck. Beautiful. This is not old. Gosh, it's pretty. Though. It's very pretty. We'll put that on our neck and you'll mm -hmm. see. Oh, this was another really beautiful piece out of this. This is very nice. Very, very nice. And that has got to be... Sterling, for sure. Wow, I love it. I love the sky on this one, like the mm -hmm. shell as, mm -hmm. the, as the blue background. And here's some uh, garnet beads. This is a garnet bead necklace. Gee, I like those. <laughs> I do, too. Great color, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like and the few. And Klein. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty little thing. A little snowflake kind of thing. Oh, hmm. Signed, are you? Let me see who that is. I have never heard of this name brand before. It says Darius. No idea. I was wondering if this might be uh, silver. It, it kind of does actually look like it's silver. I didn't see anything, but you know, this this might not be the original, the original sitch. Only one earring with it, huh? No. Oh, two. Oh, are there? Oh, yeah. So we'll test this and for silver, then we're going to test our heart for gold, and then we'll show our necklaces, and then we'll call it a day. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's test our witch's heart. We're thinking this is gold. I love the tulip on top. <laughs> let's see. I, oh, I hate I hate scratching stuff this old. But I will. I'll try to be gentle, and then if you're gentle and you don't get enough metal, it doesn't always give a great reading. But I'll. Careful. All right, hopefully, hopefully that's enough. Let me just check with my loop and see if it's a different color underneath. It looks good. And let's just, let's just see about this necklace and the earring. Let's just see if it's silver. It does look it. Whoa. It's not. I can just tell. Okay. I can tell by that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Okay. It's not. But we're going to put this on our neck. Yeah. But let's just see. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to use a very, very small amount because I don't want to scratch more. So I'm going to... Let me zoom in. Boy, that's very hard to see. Sorry, everybody. Let's just put a, a dab of 10 on the bottom here. That's so... It's so thin. It's probably going to eat it no matter what. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to be actually. And then let's try the 14 on top if I can do it without it running in. Let's see. Huh. Yeah. See how that metal, it's standing strong. Oh, that's so great. Wow. That's so great. So somebody, I guess, didn't know that that's a Georgian witch's heart. Well, I certainly would never have known, but I think it's great. It certainly is. Okay. So the 14. The 14 is, uh, 
is, is not standing up. So the acid is eating the metal, but it's not eating at the 10 carat, at the 10 carat level. So that is at least, at How least 10 nice. carat. Oh, I love it. Here's hoping I can get those, those two replaced. It's lovely. It's, lovely. it's so, I think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing. A little bit of rust or something right there. Did you ever have one before, Sam? I have never had one before. Really? But I love Georgian stuff. I don't have many Georgian pieces. I have a few things. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I just, I just really treasure these very, very old ones. Yes, yes. Beautiful. All right, let's take a look at some of our necklaces. Okay. Here is our yellow glass necklace. We knew we were going to love this. <laughs> yeah, I actually yeah. have to hold this from behind mm -hmm. because it's too long. That's so pretty. Look at the swirly yes, glass and the is. color. Oh, man. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. For sure you. I yeah. Know. I knew you would love it. <laughs> What pretty old, old glass that is. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. This is way cool. Wow. This is awesome. What do you think? Maybe 60s or 70s on this one? Very mod. I love these kinds of necklaces. And with the earrings. And with the earrings. Yep, definitely. That's great. Not mm -hmm. real. Not real, but... Oh, man, I love it. It almost looks like Aztec or something. Do you like it? I like the way it's hitting the light now, the way you have it. Yeah. Yep, it's pretty, right? Yeah, it is. I might be able to just lightly polish this, too, so it would mm -hmm. be even more... A little bit. A little more shimmery. This one isn't a necklace, as we've established, but I just wanted to show everybody what it, what it looks like. Huh. I just don't know what it is. But the back of it, it just looks hand sewn. It totally is hand done. Sure. Totally is hand done. This totally looks but all those beads like I mean, 100 years or more. Time consuming. Time consuming. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, I wonder if it was like part of somebody's clothes, but I'm trying that's to think. That's what I was just thinking. That's Sandy. what That's what I was wondering if it, it was like on well someone's be. shoulders. But yeah. That, that doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Well, it's beautiful. And we mm. decided um, this is not jet, right? Right. And uh, by the way, that's my that's my mother's uh, head right there. <laughs> Isn't that a great planter? What's her name again, Mom? You named her Hansuk. 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 All right. Hi, Hansuk. My friend. <laughs> I love her. All right. Let's take a look at this. This '80s madness. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, this was in the twenty dollar lot. Look at that. What do you think? It's a spe well. it's a specific thing. It's, I can't say specific. It's a very specific thing for mm -hmm. a, you know for somebody. I mean, it's not for everybody, but it is definitely for somebody. Not for, not it. not for eighty and over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's great. It it looks very eighties. I don't know. I, I I might be off. Maybe it's just like a super mod like forties thing or something. This would be stupid to check it for Bakelite, right? But maybe I'll do that. I'll do that off camera, and I'm going to write yes or no on the screen for Bakelite. This one uh, is its not really showing up on the black. Sometimes rhinestones do that with the black, but I'll put it in my hand. This is very heavy, like you pointed out yeah. just now. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. It's nicely made, actually. It's just it not, is. It's not old, but boy, what a stunning thing if you had a wedding or a special event. Very. That's very, very pretty. And here is the tumbled stones. That's cool. That's kind of a... I like it. It's like one of the best ones I've seen. Yeah, I've, I've seen like many it. of these. And what did we establish? It's gold filled, I think, right? It's a really nice chain. I love it. I love the colors of it go with anything wouldn't it fantastic yeah mm -hmm. there's probably not a color you could name that isn't right. isn't in here in some form pretty i don't know what's going on with this one i don't know if it's me <laughs> or i can't make it i i mean i'm not i haven't really fussed with it a long time but it seems like it doesn't want to lay flat for me but i don't know I, i'm sure it's supposed to 
Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Maybe something's wrong with it. It's probably just me. I don't know. It's almost... I don't know what's happening. What is occurring? It's pretty, though. I got to figure out what's what's up, though. This one is very pretty on the neck. Look. I like it very much. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And these are not plastic. These are all stones. Really? How pretty. Yes. Mm, I like that. I do, too. I like that one a I lot. Do too. I do, too. It's classy. It is totally here is an absolutely stunning necklace. I just don't think it's carnelian. I know other people do, but I, I don't. They're all carved differently, aren't they? No, they're not carved differently. That's why I don't think... Really? Yeah, they're exact, I think. Let me oh see. My. Let me just take a look at that. And then take a look at this. Let me see. Mm. I think they're exact. Wow. Uh, you got me worried now. I mean, not worried, but wondering. Yeah. Let me just see. Let me just look at those dots. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. But they, it's, look, it's a, it's beautiful, no yes. matter what it, yes, is. it is. Yes, it is. I believe this is some type of silver. Maybe not. But this, to me, is, I think it's stunning. It's very Asian looking, isn't it? Yes. Because it does have that jade look. Well. I love it. This one is definitely one of my favorites, but I mean, I love a lot of the stuff I got. So beautiful. Well, that's it for this time, everybody. Thank you, as always, for coming to the Funky Pickle Thrifters videos. We appreciate you being here. And thank you very much. And thank you very much. Be well, everybody. We will see you on the next one, okay? Goodbye Bye -bye. now.